When developing an SEO strategy, it's important to understand the concept of branded search intent. Branded search intent often comes into play when you see a business doing keyword research or analyzing their keyword rank positions. Because oftentimes businesses will be tracking keywords that have their name included in it. So if you're, say, Banana Republic and you track the keyword, uh, you know, women's sundresses, Banana Republic, or men's dress shirts, Banana Republic, and those are the keywords you're tracking, it's important to make the distinction that those are branded search queries. And let's take a look at what a branded search query or a branded search intent looks like. Here we have an example of this. So here I've just run the query for climbing harnesses. So if you're a rock climber, you have a climbing harness, and here's just a query that shows that. We can tell by looking at the search result without knowing anything else that what we have here is we have a transactional search intent, right? So we see a lot of ads. We see some shopping results. This is obviously uh, the search engine interpreting that we want to purchase one of these. Um, we see a number of different uh, category pages. So REI uh, has a couple of different organic search results down at the bottom of the page, right? However, if we add in this branded term, so Petzl, Petzl is a manufacturer of climbing harnesses. If we add in the branded term to this query, look at what happens to those results. So we still have a transactional um, search intent taking place here, right? We still see a lot of ads, we see a lot of shopping results, but look at those organic results in particular in the bottom left corner of the screen here. I'll go back. Here's the original one, climbing harnesses, no brand. We have REI and REI are the two main results and the organic results. These are um, catalog type pages showing a number of different comparisons probably of results. And as soon as I add the branded result, what do we get? We get that brand showing up in the results page. So now the organic results below the ads are both Petzl. So when you include the name of the company in the search query, you're going to see oftentimes that business showing up in the top results. You're telling the search engine that you want to see results somewhat narrowed to that brand. Uh, if we cover up the uh, SERP features, that is, in this case, on a transactional search, the um, the shopping results on the right and the ads at the top of the uh, the organic results, um, we just can see or isolate those organic results down there at the bottom. <clears throat> you should expect that when you see a business using or tracking branded search queries in their campaigns or projects, when you see that taking place, you should expect that they rank high for those results. So imagine if you're tracking search results over time, you're talking to a business owner, that business owner says, we rank very high for XYZ uh, search queries. If you look in their account information or their tracking results, whatever they're using to monitor their keywords, you may see that they actually are ranking for those terms plus their name. That is a branded search intent. And when there's branded search intent, you're going to find they typically rank very high, which is different than if you remove the brand from the search query and see how they result for a non-branded term. Very important distinction. It's a very common mistake that most businesses make.